Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, my name is Rizka Arinda Yuniarti You can call me Rizka I'm from Biology Education of Ringgi 2019 uh, Today I will presentation about article, popular article by Kendall Powell 2019 The title is Alzheimer's Research Precept. After some costly as disappointing drug trial failures, the field welcomes a funding search tool for tracking disease and interdisciplinary collaboration to tackle one of science's most stubborn puzzles. What is it? Yes, this is about Alzheimer's. What is Alzheimer's? So, Alzheimer's is progressive mental deterioration that can occur in middle of or old age. Due to generalized degeneration of the brain, it is the most common cause of premature sen senility. And what difference between, uh, between Alzheimer's and dementia? Uh, dementia is an overall term for disease and condition characterized by a decline in memory in memory language problem solving and other thinking skills that affect a person's ability to perform everyday activities memorial memorial loss is an example of dementia alzheimer is the most common cause of dementia Uh, Dr. Eric McDade said, We think now that the disease develops over 25 years or so. And this is the graphic of Alzheimer's disease. The purple one is for men and the yellow is women. In worldwide, 47 million people have Alzheimer's disease or related dementia. And the number is predicted to double in the next 20 years. Aging is by far the biggest risk factor for developing Alzheimer's. If everyone lives to be 85, one in two people would develop dementia. The lion's share of Alzheimer's research and drug discovery to date has focused on misfold amyloid and tau prote proteins with a grade to form like gas or amyloid so this is the picture of amyloid and tau proteins in the brain and do you know what is tau protein? tau protein is the protein that stabilizes the microtubules tau protein are so many in neuron in the central nervous system and they are well elsewhere um, but the body attempts to clear the sticky protein might also be contributing to to or causing the neural degeneration drug trial have almost exclusively so to use an antibodies targeted toward these two proteins to try to attack and clear the misfold forms or mop up soluble forms or to inhi inhibit enzymes responsible for de generating the miscreen peptides the project in this progress Lauren Friedman, the director of scientific affairs at ADDF said We are really seeing every type of different approach to Alzheimer's disease and related dementia. The area being explored include the vascular system, epigenetic, neuroprotection, synaptic health, im immunity and inflammation, and metabolic dysfunction, among others. Neuroinflammation and proteostasis, or the management of proteins within cell are trending areas of research in ADDS portfolio. Research investigating proteostatis would like to find ways to boost the cell garbage, garbage disposal system. This is the picture of 
pro proteostatis, which identify misfold clumping protein to them for our cycling. Behavioral neuroscientist John Robinson said that how exercise might play a role in modifying or preventing Alzheimer's. The biggest risk factor for Alzheimer's is age, and for unfortunately not modifiable but we often say that what's good for the heart is good for the brain so if we want to prevent alzheimer's in the old age we must do exercise in young and then another booming area of alzheimer's research is the development of biomarkers and diagnostic tests to monitor disease presence and progression. Uh, number one is radioactive positron emission tomography, or we all also called it PET. This is how PET works. Like photon de detected by PET camera, and then electron, positron in camera, and will appear 3d image and occupancy data so we can know our brain our develop of brain in 3d image and then the second is collecting cellular spinal fluid is the picture big data requires big money national institutes of health are an I H funding special specifically for for Alzheimer's and related dementia research has blossomed from around four hundred and forty USD million million USD dollar in two thousand and eleven to two three twenty three billion. Uh, USD, USD this year. Similarly, ADDF has a partnership with Harrington Discovery Institute to help academic scientists spin their good ideas into drugs that could be tested in clinic and then launch uh, nearly 70 million USD in support for five years to accelerate studies of Alzheimer and related dementia therapy. My God, want to recruit from biology backgrounds in molecule, molecular genetic system biology, electropsychology, cell biology, bioinformatics, and bion. Young investigator working large consortia who become first in the first language of computational biologist, clinician, or drug. So many research or many uh, scientists who studied Alzheimer's from another uh, another background like biology and what well in many like five six maybe and the end. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for. Uh, listening my presentation if I have many mistakes please forgive me and then the last I say wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh